Here's problem 31.3. A coil is wrapped with 300 turns of wire on the perimeter of a square frame. Side length of the frame is 20 centimeters. Each turn has the same area as the frame, and the total resistance of the coil is 1.5 ohms. A uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of the coil changes in magnitude at a constant rate from 0.5 tesla to 0.9 tesla in 2 seconds. What is the magnitude of the induced EMF in the coil while the field is changing? All right, so we have a coil. It's a square frame. It is um, 0.2 meters on a side. So the area of this coil is going to be 0.2 squared, which will be 0.04 square meters. Nice to know. And we, we don't have just one coil, we have a whole bunch of them on this frame. So the number of turns that we have is 300. Alright, we're told that there's a magnetic field going perpendicular to the plane of this coil, so let's just have it go into the page here. And that is changing from initial value of 0.5 tesla to a final value of 0.9 tesla. So the change in magnetic field, which is the final minus the initial, will be 0.4 tesla. And it's going to do it in a time of two seconds. Alright, so there's everything we know. We know that um, because the fluxes will be changing through the center of this coil, there will be a induced EMF to oppose that change. The magnitude of that voltage of that EMF will be equal to the number of turns times the change in flux or the change in time magnitude. And in this case the area won't be changing. So this would be the number of turns times the area times the change in magnetic field or the change in time. All right. That will be uh, 300 turns times 0 0.04 meters squared. Our change in magnetic field is 0.4 tesla. And we're going to do that in two seconds. So this would be an EMF of 2.4 volts. So that's our, our answer. We'll have an EMF induced of 2.4 volts. Answer on the key would be answer A. Now the key says B and it's incorrect and I think the reason is it was assuming that we might do more with this problem. If we were to calculate the current that's induced, that would be equal to the induced voltage divided by the resistance. And that would be 2.4 volts divided by the 1.5 ohms that was given as the resistance. So that would be a current of 1.6 amps. So there will be an induced current of 1.6 amps. And if we were looking at the situation that we have currently, so to speak, with this magnetic field going into the page, that means the flux will be increasing into the page. Then there will be an induced flux that will oppose this increase into the page. And as we see it, then there should be an induced magnetic field that's coming out of the page. And for that to happen, by the right-hand rule, we would have to have uh, our current go counterclockwise uh, around this circuit. So we would have the current going counterclockwise to pose a change of increase in the magnetic field into the screen. And um, that current would be 1.6 amps. But the EMF induced is indeed 2.4 volts.